This past summer, students from Meredith College went to the country of Belize, Central America with the college's Office of the Chaplain. The goal was to carry out a number of sustainable educational projects that would have lasting benefits to the adults and children in this country. One of the projects took place at the George Price Center, teaching a healing curriculum about trauma recovery to adult orphanage workers. The George Price Center in the Belize capital of Belmapan honors this nation's first president who led his people to independence in 1981. As the father of this nation, Mr. Price was one of the principal architects and led this country on a peaceful revolution. This center, named after him, is where the healing project was led. The workshop focused on teaching basic principles of trauma recovery called the STOP program. 22 adults who are actively involved at children's homes in Belize were invited to learn and share their experiences to better understand how to work with children who come from different backgrounds than you and me. These caregivers work with children who were the victims of trafficking, exploitation, abandonment, or any trauma-related issues. I've had really great groups come through. I'm doing parental support and uh, they're, they've all been very good about giving me feedback. Before arriving in Belize, seven students worked closely with Meredith alumni Amy Wilson, who is a missionary with Crisis Care Training International. She taught from the curriculum Healing and Hope for Children in Crisis. Amy led over 13 weeks of classes for over 40 hours to train and have the students take ownership of the materials to help teach the classes. Each student led small group discussions, rotating the participants through the four topics. Yeah, I felt very, very prepared because um, we had done practice um, sessions at the school um, the last week that we were there. So we were able to present the lessons that we're presenting today and how we would present them. Rebecca covered the importance of talking and communicating with children and giving them the time to open up and share their feelings and emotions. It allows you to create relationships and bonding time and it helps them later on in life when things upset them, they have a proper way of doing it instead of getting violent. One thing I think that is important is to recognize that each child has their own needs and sometimes when it's only you there, it can be really difficult to address their own needs personally, but if there's a time that you're doing a group activity and you see a child off to the side who's not really participating, you can set aside a time after the activity and talk to them individually about how they're feeling and why are they behaving this way or reacting this way. The training was so successful that the caregivers would like the adults and Meredith students back for more training in the future. Normally, the classes run for five days, but due to these adults' commitment to helping children, they can't leave their schools for an entire week. I think for me, because I've been really focusing on play, and in my experience, because I've worked at summer camps before, and I understand that um, playing with a lot of children can be hard, having to look after a hundred children. You can't always know their names, but you have to you know, be ready to be attentive to them. One of the ladies talked about how when she, she's a foster mom, and when she took in uh, kids for the first time, they had a fear of bath time. And she wasn't sure if it was like um, a fear of water, a fear of being exposed. She really wasn't sure, and that was a process she had to go through, and that tied into us talking about um, how uh, you have to have patience in these situations and just gradually go into to, um, the interaction with the children and being considerate of, of their fears. This partnership between Meredith College, the missionary group Crisis Care Training International, and the country of Belize reinforces the hard work, partnership, and independence that George Price envisioned for his people and his country.